Old 261 was one of the last steam engines ever built. 1944 was the year. 1991, we leased the 261 from the National Railroad Museum in Green Bay, Wisconsin. And uh, it was a small group of guys and women that were railroad enthusiasts and people who were, who were interested in educating people about railroad history. Interest in preserving the history, as well as the functionality of this railroad relic, spans several generations. This is the largest pole burning steam engine in the world operating. And so now the locomotive itself weighs more than a 747. It's a little under a million pounds fully loaded. So you're talking 33 tons of coal, 40,000 gallons of water. Now, where are the pistons in all of this? They're in through here somewhere? Well, this is your main connecting rod right here. So the steam locomotive, your piston is right in here. And oh, I see, it goes right there. Yeah, your okay. steam comes down through there, and it's gonna push this big connecting rod around, and it's gonna turn those wheels. Now, if you look down here, you'll see the brake shoes. Oh, these, yeah. are, these are the brake shoes there that, that keep the locomotive stopped, but then behind there, you'll see that pipe coming down. Yep. That's where we can place sand on the rails. Now, so, I don't see a gas pedal anywhere here, but uh, well, how do you get this thing going? Yeah, there's, uh, there's no steering wheel. No right? steering uh, wheel. No steering yeah. wheel on this thing. So up here, you've got your throttle, all right? And we've got this locked off right now, um, but you got your locomotive. Literally locked off. Yeah, yeah, you got your throttle up here. This is what puts the sand on the rails that we talked about. Okay. All right. And then uh, this is forward and reverse. And this is the brakes down here. This is your locomotive brake, and this is the train brake. So we can stop the locomotive separate from the, from the train. Over here, we've got the water glass. Now this is what tells us how much water is in the boiler. Now the fireman, he's on that side over there. He's continuously putting coal in and he's putting water in the in the boiler so he puts it in he puts the coal in a little different than he did years ago though yeah right? he's got an auger through the floor so there's an automatic screw that runs through the floor and then it sprays the coal in over the fire oh i can't wait it's the 261 and here we go Good morning. Good morning, how are you? You wanna punch my ticket there? Sure. Uh, <laughs> looking good. Today's experience provides pleasure for different people with many different reasons. And why do you, uh, why do you like it so much? Well, the first one just blew us away. We had no idea how amazing the experience would be. And we wanted to share it this time with my mom and with our kids so that they could enjoy the beauty of the cars and also the experience of the fall colors. before and I was like I would I prefer traveling like this actually over the over the airplanes of nowadays because you're able to roam and just actually see what you're doing and um, just move around a little bit more. Good morning. Welcome aboard. Thanks folks. All right, there you go. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Many have had a love affair with trains their entire lives. Model trains can attest to that. Others simply yearn for the chance to do what they thought they might never do. Does it sort of uh, sadden you to see that the railroads are sort of going away a little bit? It does. It's beyond my control, so I just have to accept it, but I enjoy what is here, still here. The caboose on today's run is a car named Cedar Rapids. With its many windows, the Cedar Rapids is a big hit. 
because it offers many spectacular vistas. The late pop singer Frank Sinatra was said to have many a party on this fun car. He was probably maybe sitting right where you are, and maybe, well, who knows, maybe Ava Gardner was sitting here, maybe. Uh, or or, or maybe, Nancy, his daughter, or maybe, his maybe Mia Farrow. One of his wives was sitting here. Scooby Dooby Doo. Do 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 do. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Take a train. Let the rhythm of the rails soothe your mind. Take a train. Leave your troubles miles and miles behind. There's the B and O and C and O and Santa Fe. As long as they keep moving on. Any lines, okay, just take a train. Take that train. Well, there's been, there's been a renaissance in, in, in the country in the last, well, 10, 15 years where a lot of the younger people have started using rail again. It's become convenient. They maybe they used it to go to college. They liked it. And now they're picking my generation that, for the most part, might have ridden a few commuter trains but never rode a long-distance train. They're bringing their parents and their grandparents along, and it's a new experience for them. It's a right very refreshing uh, trend. Steam engines with their distinct warning whistle attract onlookers everywhere, picture takers all along the trip. This trip in mid-October is called the Color Tour because of the full palette of colors offered by sumac and aspen, maples and oak trees. There ain't no need to drown your troubles at the local bar. There's lots of pretty women sitting in the dining car. Just take a train. You may find that someone special on the train. You should take a long train ride sometime just for fun. You feel so much better when the ride is done. Take a train. Get out and see the country. Take a train. Take a train. Let the rhythm of the rail soothe your mind. Take a train. Leave your troubles miles and miles behind. There's a B and O and C and O and a Santa Fe. As long as they keep moving on, any lines okay. Just take a train. Oh, take a train. How's it running? We never count the chickens until they're hatched. <laughs> the old 261 also needs a lot of maintenance and has a special crew that every 60 or 70 miles has to stop and grease her up. And if there's ever a problem with the train, you have the crew right here. That doesn't happen a lot, does it? Or no, does it? no. And we, I mean, mechanically, the thing is very reliable. We very rarely have any problems mechanically with the train. And when we do, most of the people here are talented enough that they can uh, get it back together again if it needs to be. The Save the 261 effort is funded totally from donations and is almost 100% volunteer workers. And as the day winds down and the autumn sun fades away, it's time to reflect and dream of someday doing it once again. R.J. Fritz, out and about, on board the historic 261. Life to the Max, we'll be right back! Woo! Life to the Max is brought to you by LifeTouch, photography for a lifetime.